Hey, what's up guys? Tetrek here. I'm gonna give a quick demo of the controller setup I have for Xbox. Um, they did some changes with the Melee 2.0 to 3.0, I think. Uh, anyways, so the old setup didn't work with the controller because it had Melee block in it because there's auto block now. And um, I'll be honest with you though, I use Steam controller pretty much all the time. I don't use Xbox controller, but I had somebody who was asking about setup and um, it is quite different than what the default settings are for Warframe. Um, so if we take a quick look inside here, um, you'll see that uh, there's a few things in here that are way different, but my melee is on the right bumper. Um, this configuration I try to keep my thumbs on the sticks because I don't want to move them off. Uh, it provides a lot quicker response time, right? So if you're moving your thumb off the right uh, thumbstick and trying to hit the buttons and everything, it's just I feel like it's not efficient. So um, what I did was I put the melee up here and then I applied an action layer. You really don't need, you could actually create this a different way, which you don't need an action layer. I'm just showing this as an example, action layer abilities. So whenever I hold that right bumper, right? I mean, the left bumper, it goes, switches to this, which instead of my powers being on the buttons, they're all applied here. So if I hit up on D, it's gonna do power D, you know, and left and right, you know. And if I click, it's going to do the item pop up. So that's those are a couple of things that have changed here. Also, the crouch and slide is on thumbstick press down, and then the jump is on on uh, the thumbstick press down on the right. Um, what that does is allows me the freedom to kind of move around um, quicker without, like I said, you don't want to take your uh, thumbs off the stick, right? Um, so, seems pretty efficient uh, doing it this way than having the jump, using A to jump uh, and the slide up there. You'll get used to it if you um, play with it, the more you play with it. Also, the sensitivity is pretty high, you'll see. Um, and it's like, how do you aim with that? Well, if you, uh, this has kind of got a, got a soft pull on the triggers. I'm using kind of like a dual stage trigger mechanism here. So if I soft pull, you can see how fast it goes. But once I soft pull, you see how slow it pulled down. And then if I, uh, on that fire. So this is on the right trigger. So if I barely touch the right trigger, it's gonna slow it down, right? And then when I full pull, it's gonna fire. So. What that allows me to do is aim before I fire. And while I'm aiming, I still get the speed until I soft pull. So I can quickly go to a target and then, you know, uh, shoot it with some accuracy by slowing it down. And I did that. Uh, I think I got somebody coming. I don't. Okay, so if we go into the Steam settings here, controller configuration, uh, basically I set this up where when it right trigger soft pull, I should have, and I wish I would do it right trigger soft pull, full pull. I don't think they have that. No. But uh, basically when it soft pulls, it's going to do that where it slows down and then. Um, the mouse sensitivity basically is cranked down in addition to these scales here. Um, it also turns into a circle instead of uh, a cross and it's, it's extra wide setting. It gives me a little bit more control there. Um, that leaves room for a lot of these buttons here to be changed to things that I don't use too much, you know. Um, bound these to gear slots so if I uh, want if I have this set up, um, uh, you know, this right here is uh, slot one, two, and three. I can set these up to 
things that I use a lot of, and I can instantly just hit that on the directional pad. Uh, marking things to um, with the A button, B to inspect, uh, the X and Y if you want to change, because I do have also, this is the other thing I have, you can use the Y button to switch weapons, or you can hold that left bumper down and not even go, and you just click on the, uh, oops, click on the uh, left stick. So you see it's changing weapons by holding that left bumper and clicking the left stick. And that basically is in uh, abilities, I think is, no, it's set up um, here under this. You can see it's a cord set up basically um, when I'm pressing the left bumper and then I click on this, it's going to switch weapons. All right. So, um, melee. So, because of the changes in melee, right bumper is my melee. Um, if you want to charge, uh, so we're in melee now, you can see the melee charge is a soft pull, right? So, soft pulling is going to start charging your weapon. So, all I have to do is barely tap uh, that left trigger and it's starting to uh, melee channel. All right. Um, and then when I full pull, it goes into the aim. All right. I'm trying to think if there's anything else here that I've done uh, that would be important to know. Oh, left trigger, right stick. I mean, left bumper, right stick click brings up your item pop up and instead of controlling it with your right thumbs um your left thumbstick i got it controlled with my right and the reason i did this was because when i want to move you know you naturally move with your left thumb it pops you out and you're able to move right away so um i'm in it right i use my left thumb and then uh, i mean my right thumb and then i move forward with my right stick and it pops me right back out now if you want to select something uh select you just pick what you want to do i'm going to go to emotes so i don't use anything here but uh you just pick it and you hit your uh right trigger so if i want to do this emote see it did it um and right trigger so i don't have to again use the buttons to select what i want to do all right um, I think that's about it. Go ahead. Uh, can tech, uh, to get into this instead of hitting the X button, you can still do it with the X button, but um, if you're close enough and once it shows up, if you're holding your left bumper, you can just barely tap your right trigger it opens it up. It's uh, another thing. See that left bumper does a lot for me. It gives you a lot of like flexibility on buttons and a and not having to actually use the a b. I, I mean the a x. The regular buttons, the a x y and b. Also, it does reload, so if you hold that left bumper and barely tap the trigger, it's going to reload if you need to reload. Hey, I thought that was a person. He glasses there.
So I'm just kind of running through to kind of show you. I mean, I use Steam Controller. Uh, I'll give you an example here. Because I can switch to it real quick. Think. Of what the Steam Controller is capable of. As opposed to the Xbox Controller. Now you can get really accurate with that thing. So let's uh let's consider what I've learned from the skirmish. Go ahead and switch to the steam controller here. Hopefully it'll accept this. Okay, yeah. Uh steam controller. Uh, um so, this has got gyro on it, so you can see, like, I can... And it basically, it's almost the same layout as, uh... Let's see, oops, I'm going the wrong way. See, my sensitivity is pretty high, but again, I have it, well, I have it set up to where... This works better for the uh, dual stage triggers too because this actually has a stop gap, uh, kind of like a stop thing on it. Uh, See so yeah, how you can get this pretty good headshot. Ooh, hey. Gotta stop messing around. Think about getting a steam control, it's pretty fun once you get used to it. Uh, start using that gyro a bit and uh, get used to a little bit higher sensitivity, maybe even lower it if you have issues, but definitely love the, uh, how quick it reacts. Oops. I don't even watch where I'm going here. I'm horrible at these things. Hey, first try. Oof, I think there. It's been a while, guys.
might have to adjust the sensitivity. This might be a little too high. Is this you? You are surrounded by Greer Marines. Pretty much about it guys. Just wanted to kind of give a demo of this and show you the difference between the two also. is broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. There you go. A little bit different. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Check you later.